sharks have prowled the Earth's oceans for a staggering 450 million years, which means they predate even dinosaurs. And yet in a span of only a decade, humans are on the verge of completely wiping out some of these ancient shark species. We have, for instance, in the Gulf of Mexico, where white-tipped sharks are the dominant predator, the estimates are that 99% of those animals are gone. In the Mediterranean, we have 15 large species of sharks that have reached almost undetectable levels. They're almost never seen anymore. And then you get something like the great white shark, which was the protagonist of Jaws, one of the most spectacular animals in the sea, and it's headed for the brink of extinction. The main culprit, according to conservationists, overfishing. The world's nations have come together to set limits on the harvesting of other large food fish, like tuna. But there are hardly any rules when it comes to sharks. It's pretty much open season, anytime, anywhere. In America, shark tournaments are popular pastimes, with recreational fishermen vying for the largest catch of the day. Sharks are also caught commercially for food. In many countries, they've become a substitute for swordfish, which are protected and hard to come by. In addition, an extract from shark liver oil, known as squalene, is used in beauty products, believed to keep skin looking young and healthy. But the most valuable part of a shark is its distinctive fin. They are considered a delicacy in Asia, cooked up and served in soup. As China's economy surges, so does the demand for shark fin soup from a new generation with money to spend. The demand for sharks is fueled by the increasing demand for fins for the Asian delicacy shark fin soup. But in addition to that, there is also an increasing demand for shark meat as other traditionally fished species are dwindling and collapsing. There are few, if any, fishing limits on sharks and therefore it is easier for the fishermen to target sharks and take as many as they want. At a commercial fish market in Vigo, Spain, sharks are piled in heaps, waiting to be sold at auction. The European Union is one of the largest shark fishing entities in the world, and Spain is one of the top exporters of shark fins to Asia. Fishermen say sharks have become vital to their economic survival. With swordfish, there is a limit that cannot be passed. Whereas with sharks, that's not the case. Conservationists want to tackle the demand for shark fins in Asia, but they also want to tighten supplies here at the source. They need to be managed uh, here in Europe. We need to manage them under the common fisheries policy, which means to establish fishing quotas. Those are catch limits. Many countries already ban a practice known as shark finning, where fins are cut off at sea and the fish dump back into the ocean to die. Here in Vigo, Spain, sharks must be landed whole, or if fins are cut off on the boat, there must be a corresponding number of bodies brought in as well. The conservationists say the finning bans can easily be violated by rogue fishermen. Europe could strengthen the European finning regulation by only allowing sharks to be landed with their fins naturally attached. Europe could help by establishing a long overdue management plan for sharks. Sharks are slow to mature and slow to reproduce. They bear their young live, and in some cases, only a few pups every couple of years. Decimated populations can't recover quickly. Some conservationists fear they may not be able to recover at all. The loss is having a ripple effect. Enrique Sala is a National Geographic emerging explorer with a passion for protecting coral reefs. He's increasingly concerned by what he doesn't see, sharks. These apex predators are at the top of a delicately balanced marine ecosystem. 
A shocking new report has indicated that scallop beds along the U.S. eastern seaboard have been destroyed because now there aren't enough sharks to keep the creatures that eat scallops in check. Marine ecosystems are like a machine composed of thousands of different species, thousands of different parts that have evolved during hundreds of thousands or millions of years to work very efficiently. If one of these parts is missing, the machine is going to malfunction. For some conservation organizations, like the Pew Environment Group, the problem with sharks is endemic of a larger problem. We now have the technology and the wherewithal to find and catch fish virtually anywhere in the world's marine environment. So the sheer amount of life that we're extracting from the world's oceans every year is emptying them of life. Unless this stops, we're literally headed for a world with a lifeless sea. And we don't have a lot of time left. Their fierce skills have allowed sharks to survive for millions upon millions of years. But species, feared by many, may be wiped out by humans in the blink of an eye. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.